I never I never finish school, you know, and I like to be pregnant and drop out of school now. I actually run away from home. I'm loving everything you do. I'm glad I found my way to you. Now we're alright. It's like a dream come true. I wouldn't ask for another man. No. And I don't want a bad man. No. I'm Mrs. Right and your mom. Yes, guys. So welcome back to Shade Empire. Guys, okay, I just come out for the road. So. Yeah. And no mind me here, guys. And I was like, Jesus Christ, I'm like, she hit the side. She just come out for the road. You know, just gonna take care of some business and just come back. So, me just tied on your hair for my head, guys. You know, glue or nothing. So, if breeze come and blow away too hard, it just fly off. You know, it just take wings, take flight, and gone. So, what I want to share with you guys today, there are some things that. Me said it properly. Jesus, me make it up properly. Funny, funny, funny something. Here. Yes. So, guys, there are some things that some of you guys don't know about me. Well, I I used to share some of these things on the original King and Shade page, but you know what I said it lose now so most of the pranks then most of the story time would do on dear you know we can't just like so we do them over back and put up now all of them they just gone so the first thing i'm gonna share with you all well you might all know that because i may already talk some of you but for the newcomers that i am the only child for my dad I am the only child, the only, 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 only one. So, me are the princess, me are the queen, you know, me are the everything. So, me get everything. Me no have nobody when you fuss over and you say, Hey, when daddy gone, you know, this a piece of land you have for me, the house they have for me, the money in a bank account for me. No, everything have for me. And you know what for me? Go for my kids, them, you know. So, I'm all the kids. Here, here, Jesus, have mercy. I'm the only child for my dad. The second thing is, I was brought up in a Christian home. Yes. No, before I go by the Christian home thing. Yeah. I wasn't really raised by my dad. Yeah, Mr. Nice never really grew me. Part of the time, yes. Yeah, part of the time, but not all, not. No, for a couple of years, uh, all right. From me, from a baby until me around five to six year old, we come live with me. His that's his um his auntie, so that's my grand aunt and her husband. So we come live here, so you know. And when we used to misbehave, like when we are thirteen or 16 or so they used to send me go up for my father deal with my case and send me back down when me know me a behavior or me beg them say auntie me want to come back down <laughs> you know but my father try he's a try he's a try man remember my father used to hustle me and like yo he might only like see him he told him about the same month so at that me see the boat uh, me see that in the boat uh, that's coming in the boat uh, that's coming in the boat and when we did third yes third i was raised in a christian home i was raised right here with my granddad sunday school my granddad and our, our husband sunday school could miss me at all guys and now we go to church you know but boy i don't know sometimes sometimes it's like i don't want to go to church but i never so many raised guys me raised you know every sunday you know so i have to get up out of my bed all six o'clock six thirty get ready to make sure my day at sunday school by eight o'clock eight, eight, eight thirty nine o'clock you know and that's a habit when we want to get back and get the kids them into you know you know miss all those things and you know through the corona things uh the corona time and so forth but yeah more more and broke the kids them in a that that you know if you go to church for you know them bible you know scripts by you know page by page or script by script whatever you want to call it all right so when we reach now 
A number four. We don't know if a number four or number five. We don't count, guys. All right. This is not actually my dad's place. You understand? So I might have said, you know, say, I miss a nice place. No. This is not, is not my dad's place. We are actually, even though I'm born and grow here, we are paying rent for here. Yeah, we're paying for living here. So, so, that's the next thing, guys. So, the last but not least on the table. Some of you might have known because we did talk it one time, and King and she added a story time, a whole entire story time on it. But no, I just got to go to part. Do you know guys, I never, I never finished school, you know, and I like somebody pregnant and drop out of school, no. I actually run away from home. I run away from home. You understand me? Alright, I'm a type of person like this. I don't find no excuses myself, I don't build no excuses. Excuses are nothing old enough now, we began that. So, the thing is... Why am I run away from home? People that say, So, make we here first. You run away from home. Let me know why you run away from home. Alright. I'm a person like this. See? My father used to struggle with me. Me telling no one again. Me aunt, me auntie and my uncle used to send me for a year. So, you know, my, my father deal with me because I never bad in terms of man when it comes to man. No. Me like love back answer. And, I don't know. I mean, I know with me, me just, you know, me face them, they kind of face them in a one way, me dear, me auntie and uncle them, you know, you know, such so you them are getting at age, so they can't really manage those things, so, my father has stress on him head and, you know, when me go up the now, my auntie says she had teach me a lesson, you know, so, me used to put all of that distress upon my father now, so, why, me used to get beaten, guys, I don't know if he used to put it on him head or what, but is that the whole thing why me run away? It's like, me couldn't wait till me just go up on my own, you know? You know them people there? Bad little girls put them. Can't wait. Till me, 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 me know if someone know if you're not watching these kids. I know I say, why me can't wait till me turn 18 if you can't go up on my own? Mm-mm. I -mm. know you know live out and you know, grow out in a young age. You know, take time grow because when I you know get old as me here, I know I go say, Boy, me miss the days them when my mother and my father could have taken care of me or when me can be grow by me, my auntie and my uncle raised me. See? Wait, we could have just relaxed, me not have to worry about bills, me not have to worry about this, me not have to... Guys, I'm not going to miss the whole of that, me not tell you. Even though somehow you are rush to grow up, you know, I'm going to miss that entire part of the childhood. You know, I'm going to... Right now, I wish I would have been a baby. You understand me? So, after I run away from home now, and uh, you know, we go with my sister, and life never really has it seems. When I run away, I don't call my father, I don't nothing. I never call him or nothing, I don't know what I'm saying, I don't know what I'm saying. When I look back on them things, they make me, me cry, God know. You know? And I tell a lie, and you know, just run away. But him forgive me, me never, me never talk to him about it. But one time, after me meet O'Neill, O'Neill, I tell O'Neill my story and O'Neill say, Call your father, call your father, call your father. And I say, no, so I don't call him. But you me know my father number by heart from me. I go primary school until now my father have that one number and it not change. Until now, guys. So you me know the number by heart and he yes, said that he must have after about, after much years. I remember I think after I think maybe pregnant or after me have baby. So I think about after two years or three years, something like that. I'm mean, never the far from him. But after O'Neill forced me and me call him and you know me I talk to him. It's like nothing not happened. It's like he remember some missing me my only child, you know, and it's just like nothing no happened guys, you know, he talked to me now, man, I go look for you, I carry, I carry, I can't know, baby, that it was 
I'm doing a video, you know. Brother and sister boy. I never grew with any, so I know his struggles. So, after that, and you know, we never really talk about it. You know, sometimes I never should bring it up with him like that, you know. But everything work out, we come actually come live with him and more to leave him, more to leave him go now. You understand me? Because I just we, I just me and family know. Me know me. I'm time doing a video. Oh, me talk. So guys, after me come live with my father now and. I don't regret it, you understand me? Right now, more than leave him and go on my own because I just we alone and grandkids them and cherish them. tell us in cherish and grandkids them and cherish them, you understand me? So, that's it, guys. Tell me if you enjoy this. If you want to see more, I go up on the road today, but I don't finish the vlog there because it's just a little piece. I did do a serve and the rainfall and blah blah blah. But I look good. Crab, I don't know if. It still can do today or tomorrow, but me sat out the piece of vlog there. Me could look at me if you watch it. But thanks a lot, guys. All right, thanks. And you know, drop in the comments them down below. Let me hear what kind of video you know, want. Um, challenges I saw with the kids, them, and uh, you know, yeah, the flare man. I'm a mountain stink. So guys, you know, let me know, alright? So, love you know.